Hello everyone, my name is Nasi Gajidit, a member of Ghana Red Cross Society, Rakai Branch. I wish to welcome you all from the uncertain times of COVID-19. COVID-19 greatly affected my community in various ways. For example, there was limited access to medical services and among others. This greatly affected people living with HIV. Just to, to give you a brief history, Rakai district was greatly affected by the outbreak of HIV in the early 90s, and now the same effect has been carried on. So COVID-19 has acted as a catalyst to the already existing problem. The people living with HIV relocated from their places because of the measures like laying off workers that came along with COVID-19. And still in the post-COVID-19, we are still having the same challenges that had existed. I wish to take this opportunity to thank the different stakeholders, Rakai Health Service Program, the medical workers at Rakai Hospital, the VHT office officials and the support staff for the tremendous work done. In our program, we adopted the full circle designing that involves desirability, ideation, feasibility and very many others. Then we adopted the goal sheet and the interview sheet as the tools that we will use. Uh, we developed different questions that we are going to uh, we developed different questions that enabled us to have an in-depth discussion with these patients with authority from the officials we reached out to these patients and we had an, a discussion with them the questions ranged from how the rakai they had benefited from rakai health service program what are some of the challenges they are facing the possible recommendations and above all we had to engage them on the idea that we are bringing on board because this is a human centered innovation therefore we had to interact with them and to, to get their opinions about the program. We couldn't just think out of the abstract without involving them. This is because they are the biggest stakeholders in this. We believe that if different stakeholders join hands and do not compete with each other, we are going to have an improvement on the service delivery. We are also going to promote on the patient-centered services in the long run. From the consultations that we carried out, hmm. we realized that there was a bigger challenge hmm. whereby most of these people were lacking supplemental medicines like Panadol and Septrin because their, their immunity is already weak, so they are prone to diseases like headache, malaria, and various others. And yet much of the concentration has been put on delivery of ARVs. How about we deliver both ARVs and those supplementary medicines to them? Also another challenge was that most of these people had been malnourished. Just like we say that they have low incomes, they cannot look after themselves. And you cannot just subject a person to taking ARVs minus having a good diet. These two things supplement each other they need to boost up their immunity so we believe that if we work on these two issues that we found out from the community we are going to have a successful goal these things are worked on we are going to have a proper a proper patient and service provider satisfaction and also suppression of the viral load among people. If we are given more funding, we intend to adopt the differentiated service delivery model that was initiated by World Health Organization in 2015. This aims at achieving 95% tested, 95% adherence to the treatment and 95% suppression of the viral load among people. Uh, we, shall adopt, we shall put in place the community drug distribution points peer-to-peer -peer strategy uh, collaboration with different stakeholders and also we are, also, we are looking at putting in place the community client-led art delivery of the medicines to the patients. Thank you so much. Be the voice of the voiceless. <laughs>